I am not a fan of pre-ordering games anymore. A long time ago, I went on a spree up, especially because I was buying way more physical games back then than I am now. I pre-ordered great games like Red Dead Redemption, Uncharted 2, and Resident Evil 4, but I've also had my fair share of misses like Mass Effect Andromeda. My brother in Christ, you are scaring the hoes. And Cyberpunk 2077 on PS4. <laughs> I'm just now, finally, in 2024, getting around to beating that game because how much of a bad taste that game left in my mouth. Pause. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I remember as a kid, it used to feel magical walking into a GameStop, looking around at all the games on the wall, seeing game trailers and posters everywhere, then sliding them niggas five dollars to pre-order whatever game I wanted. Pre-ordering just don't hit the stain today, especially when some games don't even come with the game inside of it. They give you it as a digital code and think that shit is okay. Not to mention whatever update and download you gotta do when you get home. I'm sorry you called me nigga, cause it gotta be bad. And not to mention back in the day, the midnight releases. Some of the biggest games back in the day had people waiting for hours in all types of weather just to get their hands on one of the biggest games of the year. It was a special time for sure. Even with the occasional crackheads in their life stories, it was a vibe. GTA 4 was one for me and I'll never forget that day or night, but you know, wonderful time, wonderful experience and a childhood memory for me. Now, things are different for me, especially because of technology and how the game industry changed the way they make games. It's way more expensive now, so they gotta sell more copies or microtransactions. <laughs> I don't rarely go physical anymore. But console games, if you pre-order them digitally, you can install it two days ahead and play it at 12 a.m. Eastern, meaning I was playing games before because I was not in that time zone. If you're Pacific, you're playing games at 9 p.m. That's kind of crazy. Not to mention, the way these game publishers are nickel and diamond nuts makes a lot of AAA games feel incomplete on launch. They be selling skins that should be in-game that you just ripped off to add to the deluxe version. Telling me to pre-order the game that you access to a harder difficulty or a new game plus should be f illegal. Sometimes the deluxe is literally just access to the game early. Personally, I'm not pre-ordering the game for $70 just to have early access for two days. Like, I'll be damned. Now, I'm not dumb. I do know that pre-ordering games can show publishers how interested people are in that game. Especially if it works for new IPs. Show support for new IPs. We rarely get those nowadays. But I would only do this for any games majority of the time, me personally. There's a lot of other ways that you can show support and they can gather information and see how popular the game is. Going off only pre-order numbers and especially early pre-order number is a sign of success or failure to some but it's very short-sighted i think majority of gamers wait for previews and reviews to even decide if they want the game or not so like that first immediate impression is not good it's not going to show publishers actually the amount of people who's interested in your game some people like me are very hesitant we're going to wait and see so early pre-order numbers is a real sword to die on but i've been running and you know i'm all over the place <laughs> i'm trying to figure that out but let me focus i'm more nowadays about convenience and I don't really collect these in general, never really have, so that's kind of why I don't pre-order games as much. However, I do understand that there are people that do, and there are caveats and reasons why they do that. If you love collector's editions of games, where you get something cool inside, nigga, you have no choice. I want my money, nigga. Jesus! I want my money. Jesus! I have no problem with that, especially when you can get something cool out of it. Especially back in the day, you was getting like some Call of Duty like race cars and stuff, and like night vision goggles. You, you can get crazy stuff in that, some cool statues, like all that. However, I do be wondering, how the hell are they getting away with not including the game? Like the game is just not in it. Like you're paying a premium, like $200 up sometimes, and not even getting the main product. <laughs> like what the f I think the other reason why we pre-order games now and why I do sometimes still, is because sometimes you want that game no matter what. For example, I'm a huge Resident Evil fan and Yakuza fan. I will pre-order any of those games no matter what because I know I'm gonna love it regardless. Yes, even Resident Evil 6, I know it sucked. <laughs> yes, even Resident Evil 3 Remake, they left out of content, it was a complete letdown, I know. That just shows how it goes when you're a fan or something. You know, you just want it, you're gonna get it no matter what. Pokemon, Call of Duty, uh, all sports games can do nothing, change nothing about the games, and fans will pre-order them and then hate them, but then pre-order next because they want the franchise to be better and to be good, but they still show out and go support it. Should they be doing that? Uh, not really, you should show with your wallet. I'm broke, nigga, I'm broke! 
But sometimes you have no choice because either this or nothing. Like if you play in 2K or Madden, like what other choice do you have? <laughs> there is no other option. You go play three on three basketball on PlayStation or something. No, the you not. <laughs> no, the you not. So some games are just stuck and you really have no choice. If you love that series and you love whatever the, the concept is and there's no other option, hell, go do what you gotta do. <laughs> do what you gotta do. At the end of the day though, nobody can tell you to pre-order or not to pre-order. It's your own money. Just follow your instincts and educate yourself too. So you don't feel hurt and betrayed if you pre-order something like, I don't know, Hello Kitty I an Adventure, and it turns out not to be everything you wanted. But that won't happen because we all know the Hello Kitty I an Adventure will be game of the year this year. What is it? What is an Elder Ring? What is, what is a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Y'all not ready for it. Oh, New Zelda coming up. Psh. Oh, New Mario Party coming up. Psh. It's a lot of Nintendo stuff coming out. I'm not going to lie. Nintendo, Nintendo lost, announced a lot of heat. <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. But that's it. Let me know what y'all think. Do you still pre-order games or not? Is it worth it? Do you think the value and the stuff that you get when you do it is worth it? Like, I know people still like steel cases and like, you know, stuff like that. But I don't know. I never was one of them people. Let me know what you think. That's it. That's all. I'm out. Peace.